Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and today is Thursday, November 15, 2012. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone um, who worked with me on the Red Tent. I gotta give a special shout out to Jenny, because Jenny's, you know, she's always here for me. She's helping me out. She takes care of everything for me. Um, she she allows me to do what it is that I need to do, which are my readings, and to be able to do these videos. So a special shout out to Jenny for all her help. And then, of course, I needed to thank everyone who made the Red Tent available and possible for us. And um, today I write about in my blog about how it's the journey that was full of joy. Everything from the creative inspiration to working the plan out to working with the girls on the Google Plus Hangouts and when we're doing the test, I swear that was like the best part. It's not to say that the culmination was not a, a marvel and a wonderment. It was, but I have to reflect on the journey to get there and just the special um, atmosphere that we had amongst the girls, Glammy and Lydia from Goddess Divine and Nona and Andreina. And it was just so much fun sharing with them and, you know, just letting things flow. And we all knew it was Mercury retrograde and we all had, we were dropping in and out and what have you. And people couldn't find us. I don't know. But regardless of all of those things, um, just each part of the step of the journey is something I'm really going to treasure. Um, I really realized that this morning how lucky I am, not only in achieving something that was my goal and my true heart's desire, but to have done it with so many wonderful people. I just wanted to give a shout out again to all the giveaway winners. Um, we had Stasha who gave out three bundles of like crystals and sage and um, shamanic meditation. And I don't know, she just went crazy um, after she was able to get on finally at the end. So we have Lala Cats 3 won a set from Stasha, Louise 1535, and Taj, Jera Emma Witchy 88. Then we had Kiera843, who won Lydia's reading, so you are in for like a mega treat. And Orbs66 won a beautiful readings from Tony Walker. And I just found out that Orb66 is actually the twin sister of Earth Mother UK in Australia. So, so happy you were able to win. And Taz Major, Kimberly, oh my gosh, you are going to have a fantastic 45 minute live coach session with Nona. You're going to, you know, you're just going to be amazed at how much you can get done in 45 minutes. She's truly, truly awesome. And Earth Mother UK also donated a reading, and um, it was Mr. Angel Arms Forever 88. So, Amber, um, I sent her off a little note through Facebook. She's my Facebook friend. And um, you'll, you know, let, let us know. I know those, those readings are already up. I'm going to add them to my favorites so you have them. And I know that um, uh, Tony already did the one for Orbs uh, 66. So, and last but not least, Sylvie 0319 won my uh, monthly mentoring package. So actually, in about half an hour, I'm going to be doing her first, the first half hour live reading with her. And I know she is so excited; she just like could not wait. So, um, so once you once you reach your uh, a certain destination point, a crossroads, um, you know, I, I achieved this, and I'm thinking okay, now what? Now what Now what am I supposed to do? But you know what? Um, I've already got ideas. The creative juice is already flowing. So even though one part of the journey is ending, but another part is beginning, um, we're going to work on next month and see what we come up with to make it better, to make it more uh, interactive with you, to give you more messages, especially now for December, which is such a big period. So um, I got some new cards yesterday, so I'm really excited. And what I got was the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed So um, what my question is for us, for me, for everybody, is what now? Where is the map going to lead us? So I'm going to go ahead and just... Pull three cards. You know me, I like them to jump out. I love jumpers. And um, see, 
Okay, we got our first one. See where it's going to lead us and and you know what what's our, our new lessons to learn. Oops. And one more. I love the back of these cards. They're so fabulous. They're so pretty. This green and gold and the the you know, it just looks like oops. Okay, so we got four. This multi-dimensional jumping looks really interesting to me. So I'm glad I got this. So I really haven't worked with that much with them. I just got them. So here is our first card. Hmm. Rescue. Rescue. It's kind of, you know, these cards have lots of things going on in there. Um, this looks like a, a, a Celtic mound or a pyramid of some type. And here we've got this guy in this balloon, and he's like checking out what's happening over here in this in this magical, looks like a, a Egyptian Stella. And then you've got this girl right at the precipice of this waterfall. So, um, and you've got little waterfalls down here. Kind of trying to see who, what is she being rescued from? What, what would we need rescuing from? Ourselves, our ego. Um, it says, you are safe and secure and free to be yourself. So there you go. Be your authentic self. It's asking for help isn't always easy for successful people. However, that's what you need to do now to expand your life. Okay, that's a big message for me, I think. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. Ask and you shall receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within. Oh, I love that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that, that message. Slow and steady. Oh, look at that. I love her. She's a beautiful fairy in this gorgeous shell. And you know what? I think all the riches are kind of held within. And I know it's supposed to be, you know, just kind of plodding along. So not everything has to be at a zoom zoom pace. And I think that's kind of what happened to me. Boy, this reading is really for me. But um, that I was zooming, zooming, zooming. And then all of a sudden yesterday, it was like a complete stop. But it's true. I'm sorry, guys. It's true um, how it's it's time to just have something that's unhurried, un, un uh you know, just kind of a, a slowdown. And I think it also allows you time to reflect. And that's kind of what happened to me this morning. I was able to kind of look back and assess and um, and savor them. You know, savor the joys that I had doing the red tent. So awesome message. Love that. 46, coming apart. Hmm. Looks like we've got something like split down, right? Like two. It's funny. It looks like two sides of the same coin what is coming apart i think we're coming apart from our ego and separating ourselves from those things that really truly no longer serve us and i think that that's been um a big a big um you know taking your separate path um if there's things that yeah, just no longer serve that you're going to go your way, they are going to go your their way, or um, just a change, a change of course of what you, from what you've been doing. Um, it's, it's, uh, it says it's a perfect time to assess your goals and values, and are your election, uh, elections in alignment with what you believe. Um, separation um, and dispersion are all in focus now. Um, if you want to separate it brings good fortune. So here we go. We, we have the choice to ask for help, to slow, and, to slow down, to be able to enjoy those moments along the journey of life. And that it's okay when you come to that point of separation to go your separate ways. And oh, wow, look at that. Spirit of place. Love those beautiful colors the butterfly that's painted on her face that transformation that um, creation I think of sacred space 
Um, that's what it, it, I mean, just all the green is healing and nourishing and nurturing of yourself. And it says authenticity is the essence of power. So it's be yourself, basically. Um, the spirit of place arrives in your reading. It says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is the question about struggle. The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. You know, I was listening to Deepak Chopra's meditations, and it's like, be that which you want. If you want love in your life, then be loving. If you want abundance and prosperity, then help others also to achieve their abundance and their prosperity. So by what you give is what you will receive. And, and I think that's what this message is all about today. So, wow, it's kind of... I think it's very apropos today for what uh, what I've been feeling. So I'm so happy to share this day with you. And I wish you many blessings as we're coming up to Thanksgiving next week. I'm so excited. It's my absolute favorite holiday because I just love the cooking. I love putting the, the love into all the preparations. And now I am thankfully today with my realization that the joy truly is in the journey. I'm going to make sure that I really, really enjoy each and every step of the way to my Thanksgiving. I send you many blessings today. Love and light. Namaste.